Thanks for watching Mid Morning on this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. Retail is undergoing some big changes. But the National Retail Federation wants people to know that, hey, you know, some major retailers have closed and some jobs have gone away, but retail is still the country's largest private sector employer. And they actually are trying to make the case that retail is growing, mm -hmm. that we have heard all about the online companies. Mm -hmm. But Susan Elizabeth, who's opening retail stores? Amazon, Bonobos has storefronts. Mm -hmm. A lot of the online only retailers are starting to open brick and mortar stores. They really do, and I think they have a point here. I mean, we all, most of us, go to brick and mortar stores regularly. This yeah. is not the end of an era completely. Yeah. And I'm glad they're kind of standing up for themselves. It's changing, it's disruptive, no question about I mean, it, it's right? Changing. Yeah, like absolutely. the way that I shop for cars today is so different from how it used to be because mm -hmm. you have all this all the information sure. available and the same is true for electronics like if you're gonna buy a TV or a computer you have all the information available to a you absolutely and I think but that people are you still want to go to the store right? or you're, you're getting that information ahead of time and then going into the store to mm -hmm. kind of make that final purchase which I I know that's what I do with big electronics like that people are still going to stores and I think that they still there's still a place for that and I think that just because we've seen things like self checkouts we think yeah. okay maybe they're moving away from cashiers but they actually haven't at all the number of employees hasn't gone down and one thing that's really growing which is interesting mm -hmm. talk to some marketing professors about this experiential shopping and an example is I did a story uh, not long ago about Best Buy and so what this is is they come into your home they come into this woman's home they look at what fits her TV, her electronics, and then they take her back into the store and she shops there and, and they have a better personalized idea. But a lot of stores are doing this, Toys R Us. They're having kids in with little play areas. Sure. And they go oh, cool. play with the toys. And same with electronics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They want you to come in and do that. Sometimes uh, malls now, you can go in and get a quick massage or a blowout. They're trying to get you in the store, experience the products. And that that's one way that retail is actually growing. Part of why the Retail Association wants to get this message out is they need to hire people, yes. right? <laughs> and so it's, it, it's not just people working on the floor mm -hmm. or working mm -hmm. a cash register. Although one in three people, their very first job was in retail, which the kind of lessons you learn from that first oh, job, just fantastic. about accountability mm -hmm. and uh -huh. responsibility. How to deal with difficult people, yes. yeah. This is, I feel like I, I uh, one of my first jobs was uh, working at uh, a swimming pool uh, concession stand. Mm -hmm. which was essentially a retail job. Sure. And it, it was a lot of conflict resolution. You learned a few of those People lessons. get very upset if they didn't get their hot dog and nachos the way exactly <laughs> they wanted them. makes you hungry. I mean, that's, that's understandable, Jason, let's be honest. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs>